gonna show you guys how to do a wheel seal on a 7140. We're gonna do the wheel seal, the hub seal, and the axle seal. All at the same time. I'm not sure which one's exactly leaking, so we're gonna do all of them. Start by jacking it up, put your blocks underneath, taking the tire and the fender off. I'm gonna pull the cotter pins out. If, uh, if they're seized in there, you can just snip the very ends off with a pair of side cutters and then put a socket around it to spin it off with the impact. It'll shear the cover pin off. And then, then uh, once it's out, you can drill it out after or heat, typical stuff. So take your tie rod end off. The, the steering arm came off pretty easy, so I, but this one's a little tougher, I imagine. Um, I put a bar underneath the, the tie rod end and then a jack lifting up on it, putting some pressure on it. The castle nut is spun all, almost all the way off. It's got a few threads left. You want to be able to make sure that the nut can spin all the way off. Spin it all the way off first while the uh, um, spindle's stuck in your uh, arm. That way you can clean up the threads, put the nut back on again. If you don't, when, it, when it's free, the ball will spin inside the socket and you won't get the nut off. So you don't want to do that. So um, then what you want to do is take a hammer with a little, when there's a little bit of pressure on it and just tap it and the shock will actually uh, knock it loose. So put a little bit of pressure on it. And more. There she goes. And that's what you want. The bar will come flying off afterwards, but that's normal. So now you can take that, that's nice and loose. You can take the nut off the bottom. I cleaned off the threads nice. So now you can almost lift it out, but not all the way because it actually hits the pivot at the bottom. But you can, uh, don't force it. Just get a bigger bar, get a bigger hammer, and generally you can pop them out. free so you want to make sure this spins nice and free beforehand um, there's two bearings the top and bottom the roller bearings just uh, feel that now to take this hub off um, drains at the bottom when you fill it up you want the drain level and it'll it'll says oil level arrow down so arrow down the plug is always halfway you only ever fill it halfway because um, the oil expands and it needs room to expand. Otherwise your uh, seal will start leaking again right away. So we'll drain the oil. Hopefully there's oil in it. It's a very potent smell. Tractors aren't as bad as final drives on excavators and bulldozers because they do a lot of work. If you get it on your hands you will smell for a little bit. It's two Allen sockets here. Not bad. That's one. Another one on the other side. So this is silicone now, so you have to hit it, break the seal. Some of them just have an O-ring and some of them you have to silicone it. Again, you don't want to force it, you just want to grab a bigger hammer or a bigger bar or a bigger chisel. You know, it's, it would be so easy if they just threaded a hole into here that you could put a bolt through and just push it nicely off. Uh, nobody thinks about the mechanic. Bloody knuckles. I think every parts person should be a mechanic for minimum 10 years. Every engineer should also be a mechanic. It's coming, slowly. You can see a crack all the way around. There we go. Six bolts with a bushing behind it and that holds your planetary in place. This is also your preload for your two tapered bearings. So um, there's shims behind there. You really want to be careful of those shims. You don't want to lose those shims. You want to count them, make sure that uh, all accounted for when you put them back together again, but there's a procedure to uh, tighten it too, so we'll get into that after. There's the shims. There's only two. Don't lose them. Your bolts are Loctited, so you want to make a note of that and Loctite them back in again. Now this final drive should pop off. And there's your taper bearing. Now look at your bearing, make sure that there's no 
lines on it or grooves or anything that you can feel, any flat spots on the on the bearing. So now we should be able to pull this hub off from what I can remember. Oh, look at that. Okay, there's your wheel seal at the back. So there's your wheel seal right here with your other bearing um, stuck in behind there. Uh, you want to look at your your hub here where the seal rides, make sure there's no groove on there, otherwise you're going to have to get a speedy sleeve. Um, sometimes it's a two-piece seal and you'll have a piece stuck on there, so really look at your, your lip on your front here um, to make sure that there's not uh, one on there already. We're going to take this hub off by taking these four bolts off the top and the four at the bottom, and that's a, um, a cap that goes into a bearing on the top and bottom. We'll pull that out and pull this hub off. Then we can get at the seal and the bushing that's in here, and we'll be able to get at the axle seal at the back once we pull our axle out. So I'll take the caps off without wrecking the shims as best as you can underneath. Now this hub should pop off. There we go. Now we can see our, our seal is there. Nice and dirty and messy with the bushing. We're going to replace both. Now to pull the axle out, you're going to want to get your oil drained again. There's actually uh, three bolts in behind here. Uh, it's pretty dry here so I don't think that axle seal is leaking but we're going to replace it anyway. Um, these U-joints I can feel a little play even though it's hard to see. So I, I can feel it back and forth so we're going to sw sw replace the U-joints at the same time. Now we split this tractor to get out the rear main seal which was also leaked and uh, left the drive shaft off on purpose. So you can spin the, the input shaft to get at these bolts because the way the U-joints sit can't always get at all of them and it's pretty generally quite a bit of resistance and that's fine. Oh, that sucks. And just that will slow me down about 45 minutes to an hour. Crap. Anyway, you can pull the axle out now. You're gonna get some oil leaking out now. And here is your, your seal is in behind here and then a bearing and then this uh, press piece here. Um, this this collar is just pressed on and that keeps the axle from sliding out that and this can only go so far but we're going to take those u-joints apart um, there's another video to show you how to do u-joints you're going to have to have a press to, to press that off and we'll show that the cases here they have those three bolts that hold it in otherwise there's got to be a way to keep the axle from sliding out so i know that the deers uh, the 8000 series that i the one i worked on anyway it had a uh, an Allen plug in the top and the bottom with a, with a round uh, end on it and that sat in a groove and that keeps it from coming out. So There's still a little bit left on there so I might be able to uh, heat it up and then grab with vice grips and spin it out so we'll try that. That's pretty straightforward. Um, yeah, here we go. Hey, hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe because you never know what you're going to see next week on DeBoss Garage. If you like what you see, there's a lot of stuff happening to help support the channel. And remember, if you're not filthy, you're not rich.